One Piece has been running a long, long time, and that means Luffy has to go through some very strong opponents who showed him no mercy at all and were ready to end his dream of becoming a pirate. Today, we're here to count some of the worst injuries Luffy has suffered and yet managed to become a Yonko of the sea. Poisoned by Magellan Luffy's journey to save his brother, Port Gas Dias, took him to the underwater fortress of Impel Down. It was there that Luffy met the demonic warden, Magellan, and experienced the toxic powers of his venom, Venom Fruit. No matter how many good hits Luffy landed on Magellan, the poisonous effects from the warden were just too much to bear and collapsed. Luffy only survived the ordeal thanks to a prisoner providing an antidote for him. It was after this battle that Luffy grew immunity to poison, but it may have reduced his life short. Hooked by Sir Crocodile While Luffy has had challenging fights in the past, Sir Crocodile was the first pirate to deliver not one, but two devastating defeats to the future Yonko. Luffy's first encounter with Crocodile, in particular, nearly cost him his life. Crocodile started with making a sandstorm towards Yuba and telling Luffy that soon even he won't be able to stop that sandstorm. Underestimating Crocodile's sand manipulating powers, Luffy let his emotions get the better of him and left himself wide open for an attack. Luffy got up close to Crocodile trying to stop his sandstorm, but he forgot that Crocodile was not a nice guy. Crocodile impaled Luffy with his deadly hook and threw his nearly lifeless body on the ground like it was garbage. But Sir Crocodile did redeem himself in Marine 4 Dark when he helped Luffy and fought against Akainu, Mihawk, and many more just to help Luffy. I'm also looking Looking forward to see more of his recent alliance with Mihawk and new Yonko buggy. Knocked out by Kaido of the Beast. After seeing Kaido's dragon form, Luffy should have understood how strong the Emperor of the Sea was. But you can't blame Luffy because this time he actually tried with his best attack in the start of the fight and not with Gear 1 or Gear 2 Jet Pistol. After seeing Kaido being drunk and returning to his human form, Luffy rushed at him with his Gomu Gomu no attack and one hit. That's all it took for Kaido of the Beast to knock out Monkey D. Luffy in the Wano Country arc. Although Kaido never viewed Luffy as a serious threat, he was nonetheless angered by the rubber man's actions across the Grand Line, such as Luffy's alliance with Trafalgar Law. Kaido possesses the power of the fish fish fruit, a mythical zone type devil fruit that allows him to transform into a blue scaled azure dragon. Not only Kaido defeated Luffy in one shot, but also kept him as a prisoner for some time, and it was the victory over this man that prompted Luffy to a Yonko level. Also, his awakening into a legendary warrior, scarred by a kainu. From the start of One Piece, one thing that has been really strong about Luffy was his strong will. His strong, unshaken will to get up from every loss and keep fighting on with his crew until he becomes the king of pirates. We saw Luffy defeated many times, but his resolve remained unbroken. Until Marineford Arc. And who better do this than the future fleet admiral himself? A kainu did the impossible. He broke Luffy's spirit. The magma-powered marine killed Ace when he shielded Luffy from Akainu's fatal blow. Not only did Akainu mentally break Luffy by killing his brother, but he was also responsible for the burnt X-shaped scar across Luffy's chest. It was the result of Akainu piercing Luffy with his magma through Jinbei when the fishman tried to save his friend. In one shot, he killed Son of Whitebeard or Goldie Rogers, and in another, almost killed former warlord Jinbei and Luffy. This man seriously needs to take some holidays from his job as a pirate hunter. Rockagon by Rob Lucci Luffy vs. Rob Lucci is not only the best fighting in the Ennis lobby arc, it's easily one of the best fights in the series. It's a long, brutal fight where Luffy has to invoke Gear 2nd and a new Gear 3rd just to keep up with Luchi's strength. The most devastating blow Luchi lands on Luffy was his Sai Dai Rin, Rogogan, where he channeled all of his energy into a fatal shockwave attack. The best part to me is how he holds Luffy in position with his tail before releasing the attack. The impact from this was so high that the shockwave went through Luffy and almost made a hole in the wall behind Luffy. Do you think that his own tail was injured in that attack? Do these things also keep you up at night? Demolished by Bartholomew Kuma Bartholomew Kuma not only broke Luffy physically, but he also destroyed him emotionally. Luffy and the Straw Hat Pirates were unable to defeat Kuma during the Thriller Bark arc, but it was the Sabadi Archipelago arc where Kuma flexed his devil fruit powers. Through the use of the pawpaw fruit, Kuma repelled every member of the Straw Hat Pirates through the air for three days and three nights to different locations only known to Kuma. 
Failing to save his friends, Luffy fell to the ground in defeat until he too was repelled by Kuma. The thing people usually forget about this compared to Marine Ford arc is that this is where Luffy first actually broke down crying on his knees seeing his friends gone one by one unable to save them. Luffy here actually felt powerless and not only Kuma showed Luffy the power gap but he one shot at his entire crew too. Good thing Kuma was on the good side or the One Piece would have ended sooner than anyone have expected. Mercilessly beaten by Nami No matter how many pirates Luffy takes down, he'll never be a match for his Spitfire Navigator. Nami often pummels Luffy for his foolish attitude but she always saves her hardest hits for whenever his naivety gets in the way of her wealth. The worst beatdown Nami has ever given Luffy was when he spent most of the crew's money on the victory party at Water 7. The aftermath on Luffy's face was hilariously horrific. This also turned into a meme which we covered in 25 plus best One Piece memes videos. Mochi by Charlotte Katakuri Charlotte Katakuri gave Luffy a real run for his belly. The powers of the Mochi Mochi fruit gave Katakuri abilities that rivaled Luffy's stretching powers of the gum gum fruit. Despite being an antagonist of the whole cake arc, Katakuri was an honorable adversary. When outside interference wounded Luffy during the fight, Katakuri stabbed himself in the same spot as Luffy's to make their things fair. Katakuri was able to outmatch many of Luffy's signature rubber moves throughout their battle, such as sending Luffy back with an overpowered version of the gum gum elephant gun. Frozen by Aokiji While he's no longer affiliated with the Marines, Aokiji is still one of the strongest admirals the Marines has ever had. So it's not surprising that Aokiji was able to get the upper hand on Luffy in the episode 228 of the anime. After freezing Nico Robin, Aokiji dodged Luffy's rubber rubber storm and froze the rubber man up. The only reason why Luffy survived the frostbite attack is because Aokiji was grateful that Luffy defeated Crocodile and he owed Garp. His ice is so strong that after his battle with Akainu, the island still half frozen to this day. Also, he almost one-shotted Blackbeard's crew recently, so this is not something to be ashamed of for our gum gum boy. He's also stabbed Luffy during Marine Ford Arc in shoulder, but seeing how Ayokiji is now with Blackbeard and has captured Garp, a rematch might not be that far away. Kicked by Sanji Luffy sometimes gets no respect, not even from his chief Sanji. Though, to be fair to Sanji, Luffy is usually asking for it with his impatient tummy. While Sanji's anger towards Luffy is usually played for laughs, things did get real during the whole Cake Island arc. When Luffy refused to leave without Sanji, the chain-smoking chief assaulted him in order to save Luffy and the rest of his friends from any more dangers. Luffy didn't throw a punch. He took all of Sanji's physical and emotional abuse, such as Sanji questioning if Luffy could really become the Pirate King. No matter how many times Times you kick me, you are the one who gets hurt. This was one of the most emotional lines Luffy ever said in the scene. Arrowed by Baron Amatsuri In the sixth One Piece movie, Baron Amatsuri and the Secret Island, the Straw Hat Pirates are lured into a trap by Baron and his evil sentient plan. Naturally, Luffy doesn't take kindly to his crewmates being used for plant food and challenges Baron head on. However, as the captain of the Red Arrow Pirates, Baron constantly pierces Luffy's body with a barrage of arrows during the match. Slice by Rorono Azoro the relationship between Monkey D. Luffy and Rorono Azoro is an interesting one. They're not only best friends, but also their worst enemies as well. Even though the spats between Luffy and Zoro are usually comical, the two have engaged in serious combat before. Their brawl in Baroque Works was caused by Luffy misunderstanding why Zoro assaulted the harmless people of Whiskey Peak. In the Ocean's Dream arc, an entranced Zoro went after Luffy and managed to slice his chest. Seeing the recent power-up Zoro has gotten to his attack power against King, I'm just happy this fight took place early on, otherwise Zoro would have cut a rubber boy in half. Demolished by the enraged army of Big Mom This scene is still one of my favorites. The rainy weather, Luffy refusing to leave that spot, and yes, don't forget the whole Big Mom army standing in front of Luffy ready to kill him. Big Mom did not take the news of her son, Charlotte Cracker, losing his fight against Monkey D. Luffy well in the whole cake arc. To avenge the defeated sweet commander, Big Mom assembled an army of her strongest fighters to take Luffy down. Even with the help of Nami, the enraged army of Big Mom was too much to endure and Luffy eventually succumbed to the massive assault. Thanks to an agreement with Sanji, Big Mom spared Luffy's life. Spike by Don Krieg 
Luffy's battle with the irredeemable Don Krieg is one of the series' earliest examples of brutality. Krieg, famed for his huge array of deadly arsenals, used every weapon at his disposal against Luffy. He fired spikes into Luffy, exploded him with his battle spear, and tried to poison him constantly throughout the battle. Even when Krieg pulled out his spike robe to protect himself from Luffy's punch, Luffy punched through and endured the pain. Subdued by Shiki, the Golden Lion the 10th One Piece movie, One Piece Strong World, has the Straw Hat Pirates go up against the evil Shiki and the Golden Lion Pirates. Shiki the Golden Lion isn't a pushover as he was a former rival of Goldie Roger and was also the first known prisoner to escape Impel Down. When the Straw Hats tried to stop Shiki from making Nami his navigator, the captain of the Golden Lion Pirates used the gravitational powers of his float float fruit to bind them to a giant stone pillar. This is the same guy who attacked the marine army itself when Rogers was arrested and it took none other than the Garp and Sengoku to capture him. Luffy has gone through some serious physical and mental damage, but there are some moments that turn into hilarious memes. If you want to see it, click on the next video or check out our channel for more anime content. Signing out, Anniverse.